uh, it's been a long day and night for you. I saw you almost first thing in the morning uh, on Periscope uh, uh, giving us a, a report on Florida football. So how's the day gone? Uh, much better than what we thought coming in, Mark. Uh, Florida had some room to move up in the rankings uh, and finish with a flurry uh, to finish in the top 10 uh, in most of the uh, recruiting services. So uh, it was uh, a class Jim McElwain needed in his third year uh, to, to finish with a bang, and it started the day with Daryl Slayton, um, you know, four-star, five-star, however you want to look at it, whoever you're looking at, uh, big-time offensive lineman and defensive tackle. Uh, he dominated an Army uh, practice uh, at the Army All-American game. Florida's going to give him a try at defensive tackle first. That's how they recruited him. That's what sold him to Florida to begin with. Uh, so to Daryl Slayton uh, is their big-time, their big, big get, uh, their best player that they signed, and we'll see uh, you know, what side of the ball he plays on, but more than likely he's going to start out on defense. Yeah, and I think the other big surprise, especially for Miami fans, is that uh, Christopher Henderson, C.J. Henderson, who's listed as an athlete, I don't know if he's going to play. He's going to play cornerback, correct, David? Yes, he'll play cornerback. Uh, he'll get first crack there. Uh, Florida has some need there with the departures of Jalen Tabor and Quincy Wilson. So uh, Christopher uh, C.J. Henderson will slide right in and get every opportunity this fall to, to, to play corner for Florida. Yeah, so out of nowhere, uh, people were criticizing Jim McElwain for a down year, down recruiting class, not Florida standard, but lo and behold, comes in, hits the wire, hits the finish as a top 10 class. Uh, anybody else of note that uh, we could see jumping off the page here uh, very soon? Yeah, I think uh, who you got to look for right now is wide receiver James Robinson was kind of a surprise for Florida today. Uh, it came out Monday that uh, Florida would not uh, admit him. The the admissions uh, higher ups, uh, higher than the athletic director uh, Scott Strickland, would not allow James Robinson on campus after uh, he was cited for marijuana possession as an Ohio State visit a couple weekends ago. He had some more off the field issues previous to that, uh, and it had come out that Florida was not going to let him sign. Uh, well, right before Jim McElwain held his signing day press conference, uh, he sends out the tweet that James Robinson uh, is a Gator. I uh, call a lot of people by surprise. He's a four-star wide receiver, uh, 6'3", 6'4", 190, big type of possession receiver Florida could really use. A uh, type of receiver Florida doesn't necessarily really have right now. Uh, can he get his head on straight and, and, and come in and, and make an impact as a freshman? We'll see. We know Jim McElwain's not afraid to play freshman wide receivers. But there is now where Jim McElwain's recruited well at that position the last couple seasons that James Robinson may have trouble just getting in the rotation. But I did mention they don't necessarily have a wide receiver, wide receiver like him right now. So we'll see if he can work his way into the rotation. He's a good third down threat uh, to you know convert some first downs and a big red zone threat. So uh, you know, if Florida can get that quarterback situation figured out, this freshman can really see the field. All right. Uh, join David Waters. You see his uh... – Twitter handle right there. It's a Gator Dave underscore SEC. You got to join him if you love uh, college football, period, but especially if it's uh, the SEC or the Florida Gators. He uh, joins us uh, periodically to knock out some Florida content and also join him for Gators Breakdown on uh, what? SoundCloud and also. Yeah, SoundCloud, iTunes, iTunes YouTube, uh, uh, TuneIn Radio, all those, and uh, every Tuesday morning on the Bill King Show. Excellent. David, thanks for uh, stopping by. Thanks. Thanks, Mark.